so I, I grew up in a home where uh, attendance at church and Sunday school was passively encouraged. Uh, the impression I got from my dad was that he'd been, uh, I guess, press ganged into going to church uh, as a youngster and, and see, saw, saw church as you know, a, a dampener on, on some of the things that he could you know, spend his time doing. He had his football mates, he played in a band and church on a Sunday just kind of got in the way of that a little bit. Um, my mum would have brought us up to, um, to definitely accept that there, there was a God. Um, he's a God who we should definitely give thanks to for some of the things that we had. But when it came to you know, this idea of, of God being angry or there being punishment, um, that kind of just wasn't really relevant to us. You know, we were good people. If you drew a line between Mother Teresa and Hitler, we were definitely on, you know, on Mother Teresa's side of the fence. Um, and it just wasn't really, you know, we had nothing to be sorry for. We were a good, a good group of people, uh, a good family. Um, and in terms of, you know, punishment, that was, that was for the guys who, who planted, you know, bombing uh, raids and, and carried out bombing raids up and down our country. Um, that wasn't for, for good, good folk like us. Um, I guess I was first challenged with the gospel when I was about 13. I went to a scripture union camp. Uh, and I, I was told, you know, by that stage I knew some of the Bible stories, I knew, um, I knew about the cross and things like that, but it, it just didn't seem very relevant. Um, as far as I was aware, quite a number of people, you know, met their end on a Roman cross in, in first century Palestine. Um, but I was challenged with the, uh, the claims that this was no, the cross wasn't an accident. Um, it was deliberately planned by God um, to bring people like me, people who were, were maybe, you know, generally good kids you know told the old lie you know cheated the old time and you know stole the, the old thing but were you know had not definitely not murdered anyone and um, good people like me had actually pushed god to the to the, the far ends of their of their lives didn't really want an awful lot to do with him um, and we're quite happy just just living our lives for ourselves um, i was challenged with that claim and told that i had to make a decision on whether i was going to follow jesus or whether i was just going to ignore him um, and I, I believed what I was told. I, I believed the story about the cross. I thought that makes sense. You know, people have done wrong. People have rejected God, um, and and a response is demanded. But I, I sort of so I, I believed. But I did what what any thirteen year old I think might do, um, and I avoided the question for an entire year. Uh, I knew that it would cost me in terms of my credibility uh, amongst my, my teenage peers. Uh, and I just didn't think, um, I didn't really want to pay that cost. I didn't want to be sort of one of the kids who was a bit different, you know, goody two shoes, Bible bashing, you know, uh, 13 year old. So I, I, didn't like the, I didn't like the image, so I avoided um, making a commitment. About a year after that, I was challenged again by a Christian who was a bit older, uh, who said, you know, do you believe, you know, in all this Christianity stuff? I said, yeah, I do, you know, I really, I really believe it. Um, I said, well, do you want to make a commitment? Um, and I just didn't, I didn't think it was a tenable position for me to, you know, in 60, 70, 80 years time from then, you know, meet God and say, God, I, I did believe in this whole Jesus stuff. I, I believe in, you know, I, I think it's great that you sent your son to die for me. But, you know, at the time I wasn't really prepared to, um, to be seen with him. I wasn't, I didn't want to, you know, be associated with, with Jesus. So um, I kind of just lived my life the way I wanted to. I hope that's okay for you. Uh, I just didn't think that was a, you know, that was a, a fair response. I didn't think that was a, um, that was any way to treat God. If these claims were true, then they were really important, uh, and it, it was worth me changing my life, uh, and I had to. Um, but if they weren't true, then you know I could just leave them. Uh, and having decided that I, uh, I did accept what what was being you know preached from the from the Bible, uh, I thought that um, you know I, I couldn't really avoid the question and I had to I had to make a commitment. Um, looking back, it's been I don't regret making that commitment. I've had a great, you know, thirteen years or fourteen years since then. Um, but at the time it was a big deal and I was very reluctant to you know to um kind of investigate things further.